Aquarius, welcome to your 25 to 31 August tarot reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. This one is for finance, health, and love. And there's no timestamps because it's all of those. And they all sort of, you know, they fit in with one another. Those are not freestanding things. The one influences the other. So let's see what we've got for you, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. We're going to start off with finances. So this is for Aquarius, dealing with Aquarius. Wherever you got Aquarius in your chart, whatever brought you to this reading, there is a message here. So open yourself to receive. So general reading, take it as it resonates, starting with finances. I feel that you're in a good space to receive, which is cool. The Queen of Cups. Aquarius, your golden ticket is to follow your heart. Your golden ticket is to follow your intuition, is to follow your ambitions. If it feels right, go for it. If you got to be extra, be extra. You know, if you got to be over the top, be over the top. If you are feeling very sort of jazzy and snazzy and, you know, all those amazing things, be that. All right, be that. Um, allow yourself to feel. I think that is the biggest thing of all. Uh, you want to feel yourself into that next flow of abundance. Your relationship with abundance is very, very good right now. All right. Very good relationship with abundance. So feel yourself into that feeling. Feel what it feels like when you've already achieved that dream. Feel what it feels like when you wake up in that dream life. Not even five years from now, two years from now, one year from now. You're in a space where things can come to you very easily, very effortlessly. Practice your spirituality, you know, um, do your meditations, light your candles, take your walk on the beach, whatever it is that you like to do, do it, take those baths, dance while you make the food, whatever, you know, do those things that you like to do, the things that make you happy, the things that set your spirit alive, that is what you want to do, that is how you attract the abundance, that is how you keep it, this is a time to be gentle with yourself. Gentle with yourself in the space of allow yourself to have fun. Okay? Do what you've always wanted to do and have fun. Don't be so set on the outcome. What if I do this and what if I do that in the financial graph at the moment? Just nope, 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 nope. Allow yourself to have fun. Then if you open to that abundance to just flow in your life easily and effortlessly for your highest and best interest in the truth and perspective of the amazing creator, my beautiful Aquarius, Place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it, okay? Let it come to you. Let it flow, okay? The more you let it flow, the more abundance will flow, okay? So um, I can almost say for you, this is, this is the formula that you want to follow. This is the magic formula. This is how you do it, okay? So Aquarius, more with finances. Nine of Pentacles. Again, now is the time for you to take that next step. Okay? Now is the time. Now is the time for you to take that next step. Now is the time for you to take that deep dive. Now is the time for you to take your business to the next level. Now is the time for you to start your business, to start your blog, to start your YouTube channel, to, to just do those new things. Now is the time for you to start it. Now is the time for you to do it. Now is the time for you to pursue that dream okay now is the time for you to pursue that dream of yours that big dream of yours what else do we have with finances four of ones so when it comes to finances this is the only thing that you really need to focus on my beautiful aquarius emotional balance as long as it feels good you'll be good okay as long as it feels good you will be good all right there is that card that fell out to the floor was the Queen of Cups. So again, follow your intuition. Let your let your joy take you there. Okay. Let your joy take you there. That is really the that is sort of like the recipe for success for you. Okay. Let's see what we've got for health. What have we got for health? Physical health, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health. What do we have for health? If you're interested in spiritual health, growing beautifully abundant in your life, learning to read cards, my beautiful Aquarius, then check out the links for my online courses down below in the description. Okay. I'm very proud of them. They're really excellent. Um, Aquarius, when it comes to health, 
you've got strength, which is Leo energy. So yes, there might be some things that you need to do on your health. There might be some things that you need to do on your well-being. Now is the time for you to do the things that you set off for too long. Okay? So if you need to have that medical check or, you know, you've been waiting to refill that prescription till the very last end or whatever, uh, uh, put things on a schedule if you've got to. All right? It's time to take care of yourself. It's time to take care of your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. What is that one thing that you maybe wanted to buy all along and just set it off for this logical reason and that logical reason? If it is within the fairness of your budget, then go ahead and do it. Okay? Some inner healing that needs to take place. You might be carrying still, you know, there might still be a little drive in you here for like, I will show them. And you may not even, you may be very acutely aware of it, or you may not be all that aware of it. You know, where do you come from in your childhood? What was happening over there? Challenges that you have with people now, might it be reflective of an earlier pattern? It's time to let the old story go. And if you can't do it on your own, then get some help to let it go. But it's time to do that deep dive inner child healing here for you. And it can be a joy because it takes you to that wonderful space in which you want to wake up a year from now. Okay. Let's see what else we've got for your queries. When it comes to health, beautiful, the wheel of fortune. So improving health improving well-being you know improving health sorry improving well-being so if things haven't been going that well it's getting better 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 and better it's systematically getting better but it's most definitely getting better so you kind of get that leniency where you can do that inner healing right now you do have the time to do it you've got the space to do it so give it to yourself oh my goodness six of six of ones public recognition okay Maybe you haven't been doing that well because maybe you've been a bit anxious or holding off and stuff on yourself like that, but now you're ready to step into the limelight and shine. So step into the limelight and shine. And if you're ready to do that, place your hand on your heart and say yes to it, Aquarius. Write down in the comments, I'm ready. You know, spirit help me, spirit support me. I'm ready for it. You know, you are ready for it. That's what spirits say. Let's see what's happening for you with love. And you may say that, yeah, I don't know if I'm so ready for love. Let's see what the cards have to say to you. Because I hear that. I don't need anybody right now. Ten of Pentacles, but it might be the perfect time. And this is the wonderful thing. You want to be with someone, not when you need to be with someone, but when you, you're ready, you want it. You don't have to. So it's a want, it's not a need. And so this is the perfect time for you to grow strongly with another person. If you're already connected to someone, to take that connection to that next level. Maybe starting a family, you know, in whichever way you do it. This could be physical family people, you know, animals, plants, whatever, you know. It's, it's, it's all about abundance. It's about living that beautiful life. It's the difference between living in a castle and living in a palace. You know, and, I, and if, I, if I do recall, I think that this is the same message. If I do recall correctly, I think that my second last reading that I did for you, I think this is the same message that came through for you, that reminded you that a castle is for safekeeping and a palace is for sort of like opulence and joy and lightness. So you are ready for that beautiful love that just makes your heart smile and your cells sparkle. You're ready for it. Okay? Close your eyes, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. Say, Spirit, I'm ready. You help me. You support me. You don't have to be hurt like you were the last time. Okay, it doesn't have to be like the last time. All right? It's very important to remember that for you right now, my beautiful Aquarius. It doesn't have to be like the last time. This is different. Okay? Six of Cups. This is beautiful. This is different. This is somebody that can grow with you. You can do something beautiful together. Open yourself to it. You don't need to have all the answers. When you open yourself to it with love, all the beauty that you want and you desire will come to you easily and effortlessly and it will be perfect, better than you can imagine. You know, sometimes Aquarius, you think that you are so smart. You, well, you are smart. But you've got this idea that I know what's best. God knows better than you. He does. All right? The Creator knows better than you. Okay? So let the Creator show you the way. Let God show you the way. Whatever your version of God is. You know, same thing, different names. All right? Allow yourself to accept change. What else do we have for love? For beautiful Aquarius. You're ready for love. You're ready for that beautiful partnership. Let yourself be supported. And support doesn't mean that it light dims your light. It can actually make your light shine brighter. Ten of Wands. Again. 
what are you holding on to? What are you re you ready to let go of something? You know, maybe something or someone was your strength there for a while, Aquarius. But now it's time to let it go. Let the story go that no longer positively describes you or defines you. Let it go. Don't hold on to things. Don't hold on to people. Don't hold on to what they did to me. You know, how unfair it was. And it shouldn't. Let it go. It's holding you back. Okay? So that is what I have for Aquarius. I hope that it helps. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.